Hello techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with wait for web page content. This action suspends or holds the desktop flow until a specific piece of text or web page element appears or disappears from a web page. All right. First of all, we'll see why this wait for web page content is required. If you see in, in our previous session, we have worked with launch new Chrome action to navigate to https www.nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity market. Now, let me open the same URL once again in the browser, nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity. And then I'm going to click on enter. Now, if you observe in our launch new Chrome, we have given the option wait for the page load. Now, if you see the page has loaded successfully, the page is not loading over here. But if you observe for the data, it has been taken some time. Let me refresh it once again, the URL. Now, if you see over here, the page is loading over here on the topmost. But here you can see now the web page content is loading. It will take some time over here to load the data. But our flow doesn't wait for this one to load the data from the web page content. In that case, what we are going to do, we are going to use wait for web page content action. So until this content doesn't load, we can't extract that data by using extract data from web page action, right? That's the reason we are going to use this action that is wait for web page content action in our desktop flow. All right, now once we'll see the properties for the launch new Chrome, Let's double click on that. And if you go for the advanced, there you can see, wait for page load is there, which has been enabled. It will specify whether to wait for a new web page to load completely before proceeding. Only it will wait for the page to load, but not for the inside the content, whatever we are having, it won't wait for the content to load. Okay, we are having again the timeout as 60 seconds. Right. In some of the cases, if the content is not loaded, in that case, we can't extract the data or we cannot work on the different actions on the content. Right. That's the reason we are going to use wait for web page content action. Right. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace before extracting data from our web page action. Now, if you see the input parameters, I'm having web browser instance as the first parameter. Here we have to choose the variable that contains web browser instance to work with, right? Over here, I have selected the browser that is the instance for the launch new Chrome, right? Now, if you see the second parameter that is wait for web page content. Now, here you can see the multiple options. One is contain text or not contain text or contain element or not contain element. Now, in this case, we'll go for the content. Now, let me go back to the URL once again. There you can see, I will have the content element over here. I will take it as element. So that I'm going to select contain element. Now, we are going to select the UI element. As of now, I have not captured any UI element so that I'm going to capture right now by selecting drop down, and then I'm going to add UI element. Now, once you have clicked on the add UI element, you will receive an UI element picker. Now, if you see, you are going to select control and then left button of the mouse. Now, I'm going to select this element over here or the entire table. Now, it is better to select the table data cell and I'm going to select control for my keyboard and then left click on my mouse. Now, if you, if you see, wait for action. Now, the UI element has been captured successfully. Now, if you see the same UI element has given in the UI element path, that is computer, that is web page, that is what we have given is live equity market and the table data cell is the HCL tech. That is the UI element which we have. Now, if you see, if you got any errors, fail with timeout error, then I'm going to enable it. If it is taking more than particular time, like five seconds or 10 seconds, then we are going to throw an error. Now I'm going to keep as 20 seconds and then I'm going to click on save. Now, once again, we'll run the desktop flow to extract the data from the web page after adding 
wait for web page content action. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. As a first step, it will launch new Chrome, which navigates to the URL that is nseindia.com slash market hyphen data slash live equity market. Now, if you see, now my page is loading, which is the part of the launch new Chrome. Now, if you see, still the data is not loaded over here. It will take some time to load the data. Now, if you see, it is trying to use wait for web page content action, which it will wait for some time. That is, we have given the default time as 20 seconds. Once the data has been loaded successfully, then it will go for the next action. That is extract data from the web page. Once it has been completed after extracting the data and it will store the data in the flow variable that is data from web page flow variable. And finally, it will close the web browser. Now, if you see the flow has executed successfully without any errors. Now, if you see data from web page variable, we are having 51 rows and 13 columns. Let's double click on that. Now, if you see, as we have seen, the entire data has been extracted from the particular web page by using extract data from web page action. Now, I will show you some scenario over here where we'll get the error if I don't have the web page, wait for web page content, all right? Right now, I'm going to disable this action and then we will run the flow once again to see the error. Flow execution started. Now, it is trying to slash live equity market and it will be having some time, right? There you can see it is trying to load the web page and also we got the page unresponsive also. Now, when we are running for the second time, the entire page has taken very long time to load the data of the page, not the content of the page. There you can see it was taking too much of time. Now, if you observe the page has loaded, but still, if you see the web content has not loaded, but if you observe in our desktop flow, we got an error that is failed to assume control of the Chrome that is internal error or communication failure, right? So the reason is that we have waited for the, to load the page, but not we have used any action to wait for the web page content. That's the reason we got an error over here to avoid these kind of issues or the errors we are going to use wait for web page content action. All right. I hope you understand when and how to work with wait for web page content action as part of this tutorial.